Today, we are going to be looking at one of the most personal attacks that happened in the Clone Wars, Season 3, Episode 2, Arc Troopers. Yup, we're going all the way back to the battle that our boys had to stand up and defend their home of Kamino from the Seppies. This episode specifically follows Domino Squad, or what's left of Domino Squad, you could say. In the episode before, we got a look at their struggles as clone cadets, where we see all the members, Heavy, Cut Up, Droid Bait, Fives, and Echo, fighting and arguing their way through training before 99 steps in and helps shape them into a real squad. Unfortunately, by the next episode, most of Domino Squad is already dead. Yeah, these aren't chronological episodes. They were actually some of the first clone kills we saw in Clone Wars. Season 1, Episode 5, we watched as Domino Squad defended Rishi Outpost. It was actually a really good episode. There was the introduction of assassin battle droids, there were those giant Rishi eels. I really enjoyed this one, but unfortunately, this is where we see most of Domino Squad get eaten, shot, and zapped to death. So, when we return in Season 3 with ARC Troopers for the Battle of Kamino, all that's left of them is Echo and Fives, who were reabsorbed back into the 501st. We could probably do an entire video on the battle at Rishi Outpost, honestly. I remember it being such a good episode, it's been a while since I've seen it. I'm sure we missed a bunch of stuff, let me know if you want to see a slow-mo video on that, but today we are going to be looking at the battle on the clone's homeworld Kamino. This was the attack organized by Dooku that Grievous and Ventress led, where their intention was to steal Jango Fett's original DNA to halt the production of clones. If you remember, Jango Fett is now dead. He used to live on Kamino and they would just regularly take samples of his DNA to use for the cloning process. But since his death, there has been a finite amount of his DNA left to use for cloning, so if something were to happen to that, it could be devastating for the future production of clones. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I'm Michael J. If you enjoy this video, we have an entire series you can binge, where we go back through all the Star Wars battles, watching them in slow motion for little things no one's seen before. Also, did you know that only like 12% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed. Shout out to the 12%, you guys are the best, but if you're not subscribed, what are you even doing? Go down and smash that subscribe button, it takes less than two seconds if you're fast enough. It's totally free and it really helps support the channel so I can keep making more fun videos for you guys. But now that we're all subscribed, let's just jump right into the video. Good to see you, General. Ready to have some fun. That's such a cool shot. I forgot how epic this space battle is. That is so cool. Anakin Starfighter looks so tiny compared to all the clones. This was honestly so clever of the Separatists to put the underwater troops on the debris that falls to the surface. We've never seen debris fall too much in Star Wars from space battles. Very interesting tactic. I wonder who came up with that, Ventress or Grievous or a random battle droid? Something's not right. Even Obi-Wan knows debris doesn't fall normally in space battles. Anakin, come in! Hold it right there. Do not move. They're literally just hammering away at his little escape pod. I don't even know what they're hitting it with. It's like extensions of their arms or something. Oh, this is so cool. I completely forgot that he comes out of his pod and lightsabers the droids. That gave me goosebumps the first time I saw it. And look at the effect the water has on it. It distorts it a little bit. Underrated little five seconds right there. Whoa, did you see the way the droids were swimming behind Obi-Wan? Like a mermaid or a dolphin or something. I thought it was like a propulsion system on under their feet, like Iron Man or something, but they just swim like a little mermaid. They look like Michael Phelps. Always in Star Wars, if you look, when everyone's running one direction, there's always two people who are running the wrong way. Even in Hoth from Empire Strikes Back, there's always two of them. Jeez, that hit them so hard. I wonder if they died from that. Mmm, 50-50. right in the chest. We were talking about clones and how it disperses the blast around their body on the armor plating because it feels like clones just get one hit killed every single time they get hit. The Geonosis slow-mo video was the first one where we saw their armor actually work and repel a shot back up into the air, but it still looks like he died. I mean, yeah, maybe the energy from how hard it hits them knocks him unconscious, but still. Like, see, there's no hole in his armor, but he's still gonna react to that. Just the same way that someone wearing Kevlar would get hit with a bullet, it would bruise their ribs and knock the wind out of them, you know? I mean, that's right to the base of the helmet. I don't know if that one's survivable either. 
Same. Right in the upper chest, right under the helmet. This is so cool. The way that there's just stuff falling through the cloning chambers. Oh, this shot makes you hurt a little. That's so insane. Oof, what was that? It looks like this clone gets hit with this laser, but it doesn't like make a blast like it normally does. Oh, oh, there's little sparks, but that's it. Oh, it spins them around. Okay, you would think with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, used to be 11 clones firing, one droid would get hit. Everybody is missing. They're only like 15 feet apart too. This really goes to show that once Jango Fett died, the clones started going downhill from there, all the way to the stormtroopers that just can't hit anything. Oh, did that squish someone? No, okay. Did he say anything or did he just point? Okay, so this guy, kind of a, a not so good guy move. Why would he not call out? He just points to it. The people in front of him aren't looking at him. How would they know to look out? He turns, has a full second to turn and run away. And this guy goes to point. I don't know why he would go to point. He raises his arm. These two guys had no chance. They didn't even see it coming. This guy though gets launched back so much more than this guy. And this guy gets launched back. This guy barely gets pushed back and the two on the sides looks like they got force pushed backwards. Ah, oh, there we go. One droid down finally. Shot right in the eye it looks like. Good shot, whoever that was. Let's figure out who it was. This guy, I think, or this guy shoots him after he's been hit and falling down. And it hits him right here, but we can't see the clone that shot him the first time unless he's just tripping and falling backwards. Oh, there goes a the little clone. It doesn't even look like he gets hit by anything. He just gives up and falls backwards. I mean, this guy definitely gets hit by this blast right here. And then it looks like he gets hit a second time in midair maybe, or a third time. He gets blown off his feet though. That hits pretty hard. I can see how that would knock him out. Oof, I hope that wasn't anyone important. Right to the chest. Did it knock his backpack off? How is it on him if it just came off like that? Oh, look, he got hit and he didn't die. Thank goodness. I was losing hope for our clones. Nope. Gosh, look, he gets hit right in the side of the helmet. I'm pretty sure that was meant to kill him. Can we see a hole in it after it gets hit? Uh... It looks like he gets hit right here one frame before, but there's no hole there. So maybe it's just too big of a concussion for your head to take. Anakin and Obi-Wan really doing everything they can out here to make sure their clones don't get hit. Look at Anakin going out of his way so far, just back and forth to block everything. I don't think that was gonna hit anyone, but still. I love the way that these droids fall to their knees when they get hit, Bruh. it's so satisfying. It's like they designed the droids on purpose to have as little square footage on their body for the clones to shoot them. Look how tiny and thin they are. They're so skinny. That's why I hate going up against the droids in Battlefront because there's nothing you're aiming at. 99, I, I brought you some ammo. Is there a better spot than this? A better defensive position we can take? Droids, behind us! Did he just push 99? Hey, yo, chill. I Ooh. never noticed that before. The grenade! Nice, little impact grenade. Absolutely destroys the droids. So satisfying. Thanks, 99. Good job. Keep firing. No mercy. <laughs> the B1 oh battle droids are so dramatic when they fall. The hands go out. Oh, this guy almost stepped on his friend. Look at that. He went to like step over him and got shot in the head and it spins his head around. A full 360. Oh, it's so cool. I don't know why, but it's just so satisfying to kill these droids. I don't know if you remember the Clone Wars episode with Jabo Hood where Anakin comes out and just slices through like 10 or 12 of them without even trying. That looks like so much fun. Have you ever played Lego Star Wars? Killing these guys is so satisfying. There's just something about them. They look so killable. Oh no. Did he get hit twice? Once in the chest right here. Oh, a second time. He gets hit in the same spot two times in a row before he falls down. All right, vote in the comments. Is the two-time hit clone dead or alive? Is he just passed out or did he die? This guy gets hit twice too, look. So they take a break and then this shot right here from the front guy comes and hits him right in the chest. And then this shot hits him right in the head. There's two sparks, jeez. They're just double tapping everybody. Oh my goodness. 
Wait, wait, what? Does anyone notice the difference? Something was cut. What the heck? It was implied that he got skewered? No, no, no. I remember it differently. Hold on one second. Okay, I found it. This is what I remember. What? Yeah, she impales him and then kisses him. That is so messed up. This is Harley Quinn's psychopath vibes right here. Okay, so apparently Cartoon Network made them cut that scene from the show. Apparently they thought it was too brutal or evil. I mean, we see so many heads get chopped off and shot off, but this, this was just a little too personal, I think. But they ended up putting it on their website or YouTube in like a clip or something. And I'm pretty sure it's in the Disney Plus version. Personally, I feel like this is so fitting to Ventress. She is crazy. She's a psychopath. This was probably the most personal kill she's ever done. Keep playing with your droids. I'll handle breaking into the DNA room. Shall I provide you with a droid escort? My oh, even that gives me goosebumps. The little way she strokes him. The Harley Quinn vibes here are immaculate. Oof, little clone takes one to the head right here or maybe it's a chest oof okay this guy gets hit in the head and it doesn't drop him he keeps walking back looks like he gets shot multiple times okay he gets hit once in the head and then a second time right here it looks like by the sparks but there's no blaster coming in so maybe we just couldn't see it the second time Oof, and a third time as soon as he hits the ground. I want to say he's dead. It almost looks like there's a second hit right here. Like, boom, boom. Like a second hit right when he picks his foot up to send him into the air, but I just don't see it anywhere. Maybe right there. This guy gets hit in the chest once, and then a second time in the chest from this, maybe? I don't know. Whoa, that's a weird frame. It looks like this doesn't move. Oof, poor guy got shot in the back. Oh, look at them, giving us that close-up slice shot. Thank you. Oh, that is so sick. Was it already up in the air? She just grabs the sniper gun off the one guy's arm she cut off and just throws it right into the eye of another one. That is so cool. Gives a whole new meaning to being poked in the eye. Oh, that's so sick. This one shoots after he's been thrown around. It looks like this one is about to, too. You weren't planning on leaving without saying hello, were you? Part of me wonders what would have happened if they got away with this. If they successfully stole the DNA from Camino. Open up. Get those doors open and scare the remaining clones out of hiding. Roger, roger. Gosh, this is such a cool shot. Oh my goodness. Let's just take a one second to appreciate the shadows from the blasters going by. Look at it changing with each one because of the blasters behind the droid are affecting the shadows differently. All too easy. Did you see the droid that got thrown out of that hallway? That was weird. Maybe one of the clones is force sensitive. Oh, that's so awesome. I love that it didn't kill this first droid, but it affected him enough where he had to sidestep. <laughs> do you see this droid, like, do this weird little move before the grenade even goes off, which is invisible, by the way? Cody throws this grenade, and before it even goes off, this one droid acts like he's getting blown up before the explosion starts. He's like, ah, yes, so dramatic. I've been practicing my fall. Oh, this shot? Oh, I love this one. That is so beautiful. Look, it's the general. I suppose you expect me to surrender. Actually, I plan to let the clones execute you right now. Not this time. Oh, these two clones were the only ones that didn't get affected by the force blast. Well, actually, this guy, all he did was raise his arm. Did you see that? How did he... Even Anakin had to, like, try to not get hit and he got pushed back still. How did this guy survive? 
I don't know, see this guy back here is tending to this clone that's down behind the uh, gunship. It looks like he might still be alive after he got shot. This guy's definitely wounded, so he got shot, but he's still alive. I don't understand what this kid is doing. He's got his hands on his head as if he's like surrendering or something. Oh, it's just one hand. Still, no idea what he's doing. Little weirdo. Wow, that was such a good episode. I'm glad we watched it in slow motion. If you have any ideas for other great battles that you want me to watch in slow motion to see if there's stuff we missed in more Clone Wars episodes, please go tell me in the comments. I will see you soon with another video. Make sure you've got notifications on so you don't miss it. But until then, remember, the Force will be with you always.